Hey friends, Miranda here, and today I am coming to you with my second Hamilton book movie haul for the month of February. Yes, my second one. I just cannot stay away, you guys. They have some really awesome deals and um, some really cool titles and stuff. I mean, at least to me anyways. <laughs> I know everybody's, you know, movie likes are completely different, but I picked up some things that I'm pretty excited about. Um, a lot of titles that are kind of new to me and stuff and that I thought I would go ahead and check out. Again, always, always, wherever you shop for movies, you know, cross-check prices and stuff like that, but I have been very happy with the service from Hamilton Book and everything that I've gotten from them, their prices and everything. They do release new titles once a month. This month, I believe it was on the 8th, and then next month, I think it's going to be on the 11th. Uh, so yeah, once a month, they get in a bunch of new product and they'll post all of that. But yeah, you guys, so I am very excited about this haul. Lots of good titles. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, let's just go ahead and get into it. Please join the family if you have not. So let's go ahead and see what is inside my Hamilton book box. You guys, I always, always get a box from them. I have yet to receive one of those wonky little pull tab thingies, whatever. <laughs> so all right, let's see what's inside. All right. So as I've mentioned before, you guys, Hamilton book tends to get in some Dollar Tree titles. Not all of them, but they do get in quite a few. So if you are ever, you know, kind of down because you can't find one of the titles you were really wanting at Dollar Tree, chances are Hamilton Book has it, you guys. And I mean, while it may not be a dollar, they're still relatively, you know, like cheaply priced, like $5 and under kind of thing. So um, this was one that I was hoping to come across, but this was like so, so rare um to find at dollar tree like people were having a hard time coming across this and this is the only steel book that i picked up i don't have very many steel books in my collection you guys so i am looking to add some to it but that is the green lantern steel book here you guys it's just so pretty i had to get it i was really really wanting it i have the dvd but i wanted to go ahead and make the upgrade and then plus it in the steel book i mean i just i had to you guys it's I just love it. The cover is so, so nice. Um, and it looks like it made it in very good condition. No dents or anything like that. So I'm happy about that. Um, so yeah, you guys, I got the Green Lantern Steelbook here. Um, I did get one upgrade, you guys. So I'm going to start with all the Blu-rays. Um, and this is Dragon Wars. I was happy to see this. I really, really enjoyed this movie. I know uh, Hubby, he likes this one too. Again, we kind of like anything with dragons in it. Um, but, you know, the storyline is pretty cool. And it is. It's just a really fun watch. Uh, pretty cool watch. And so, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and upgrade that. So that is the only upgrade that I got this time. Alrighty. Next up, this one really, really sparked my interest and also because it has Allison and uh, Hannigan in it, and that is You Might Be the Killer. Not familiar with this title, but it actually looks like a pretty fun watch, and like I said, the storyline caught my interest, so I'm excited to check that one out. Next up, one that I have not seen in so, so many years, Apollo 13. I think I saw this one when it came out in theaters. If I'm not mistaken, what year is this from? It's from 95. So it's probably one of those movies I went to go see with like my dad again a long, long time ago. So probably don't really remember too, too much about it. Um, then they had Escape Plan 2. Now I haven't seen the first one and I don't own it, <laughs> but I figured that down the line I eventually will because I've heard great things about the first one. I don't know, you know, if the second one holds up to the first, but uh, yeah, this one actually has Stallone and uh, Batista in it from, you know, like WWE. Uh, so I thought I would still go ahead and, you know, scoop this one up just to have it. And like I said, I'll eventually get number one. <laughs> Sorry about that there. I kind of accidentally knocked into the camera. Um, but anywho, uh, next up we have The Bride of Frankenstein. Now I actually have not seen this one surprisingly. I mean, I love Frankenstein. Like who doesn't? It's a complete classic. But it comes with the really cool uh, glow in the dark little slip case here. But the actual like front of the cover looks like that. So I am actually really excited to check this one out. Next up, I did go ahead and pick up the five movie collection of the Scorpion King. It is on Blu-ray, you guys. <laughs> My son's over there and he's like all smiling and stuff because we do enjoy these Scorpion King movies. I've actually only seen the first and the second. 
And we had the first on DVD, so that's kind of an upgrade there. And this, instead of buying them separately, I just thought this would be a nice little like space saver. So I think we only had the first and the fourth, I want to say. Um, so we did go ahead and pick that up. <laughs> this next one, you guys, I got mostly for the title. I just thought that was flipping hilarious. So we have Poop Talk. <laughs> So basically, you guys, it's a docu-comedy and it says Poop Talk is an open and honest look at a taboo topic in today's society. The docu-comedy gives an inside look at all things poop from funny, uncensored, embarrassing moments to scientific explanations. <laughs> I just, I had to get this for the giggles, you guys. I just, I had to. So I can't even pass that one. <laughs> All right, next up, we have Colin Firth and Reese Witherspoon in Devil's Knot. And this one is actually based on a true story of the West Memphis Three. This one was actually showing up at Dollar Tree, I want to say it was maybe last year, year before that. And uh, this was one that I just, I never came across. And so I just really, really been wanting to check this one out. So I'm happy that I finally decided to pick it up. Next up, we have a double feature here of, um, I think it's pronounced Annihilation and Arrival. Both I don't think I've seen. So I'm excited to, you know, check those ones out. This is one too that I've been wanting to see and I've heard great things about and I just realized Omar Epps is in this. Oh my goodness. We also have Ellen Adair, Christina Reyes, Jamie Kennedy, and Tom Atkins. And it's from the director of My Bloody Valentine. And that is Trick. Another one to add to my horror collection. And then I went ahead and picked up the uh, three film set of Paranormal Activity. I'm not the biggest fan of these movies, to be honest. But I thought, why not? It was inexpensive you guys and it, you know I've seen the first one maybe the second I don't think I've seen the third one but you know I thought I would go ahead and give these another try revisit them and stuff so got that and then the last blu-ray that I got is National Lampoon's Animal House all right, and the rest of the movies are DVDs, you guys. I did actually pick up several this time around. Some of them I'm actually pretty excited about. So first up, we have like the original Pink Panther six film collection. This one stars uh, Peter Sellers in it. You have the Pink Panther, which is from 1964, A Shot in the Dark, also 1964, The Return of the Pink Panther, 1975, uh, The Pink Panther Strikes Again, 1976, Revenge of the Pink Panther, 1978, and Trail of the Pink Panther, 1982. Um, so yeah, you guys, and they're all about an uh, like hour and a half or more, so... They range from like 97 minutes to I think the 115 minutes. So yeah, you guys, I just thought this was a pretty cool find. I'm excited to check this out. I love the, obviously the remakes with Steve Martin in it, but I have not seen any of the original Pink Panthers in such a long, long time. So I'm actually really excited to, you know, revisit these and watch those. So yeah. Next up, this one kind of caught my interest. Not normally something I would be into, but um, the storyline seemed like something I would enjoy. You have Paulette Gar Goddard in Diary of a Chambermaid. And I do believe there's actually like a remake of it or semi-new version. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you guys. So I thought I would go ahead and check this one out. Next up, these are all easily ones that I could upgrade to like Blu-ray or whatever. But um, I think the only one I haven't seen is Mobsters. But we have this Gangsters four movie spotlight series you have casino carlito's way carlito's way rise to power and mobsters carlito's way was such a classic when i was growing up so i've seen those like, like i said i don't think i've seen mobsters and it's probably the only one um casino it's been a long time too since i've seen that so this will be nice to revisit and like i said my i think it was my last haul or the one before that I picked up Sarah Plain and Tall and they still had the second movie from that series, Skylark. So I went ahead and picked it up. Haven't seen this one either in a really, really long time. Um, the only one I don't think I've ever seen is the third one, which I forget what it's called, like winter something, but yeah. Then this is one that I've actually really been wanting to uh, see for a long time. And uh, it has Seth Rogen and Elizabeth Banks. It is a comedy. And uh, that is Zach and Meaty. 
Neri. I don't know how you want to say that. That's funny because that is one of my nicknames that I used to go by back in like high school. So um, you guys know the rest of the title, but I can't really say that, you know, here since my son is watching. <laughs> but yeah, you guys know. So I'm excited to check that one out. Um, then we have this one, which I thought was a really cool little set here. This is Tear Jerkers, and you have six movies in here. You have Avalon, My Life, Swept Away, All the Pretty Horses, The End of the Affair, and to Jillian on her 37th birthday, I think. Jillian, Gillian, I don't know. But yeah, you guys, I thought that this was a really neat little uh, set here, so I went ahead and scooped it up. Um, and these are like some older movies, I think. Uh, no, 2000, 1999, 96, 93, 90, yeah. So like 90s and stuff, early 2000s. Then, it's funny because I've never seen this movie, but yet I've always heard the saying, Driving Miss Daisy. And so you have Morgan Freeman, Jessica Tandy, and Dan Aykroyd. So I'm actually kind of excited for this one because like, I haven't seen it, you guys. But that saying that it just kind of like always sticks with you, Driving Miss Daisy. Then we have a Marilyn Monroe film here, which I don't think I've ever seen any movies with Marilyn Monroe in it. Not because like... I never wanted to or just never I don't know <laughs> just never really had the chance and I don't think really anybody in my family ever really watched any of the like Marilyn Monroe films and stuff like that I mean obviously you knew about her growing up and stuff but it wasn't something that was like big in my household like her movies or anything so um yeah anywho we have some like it hot so I would go ahead and at least own one with Marilyn in it <laughs> Next up, we have Attack of the Killer Bees pen movie collection, you guys. Um, the majority, like seven of them are in black and white, and the rest are in color. But they range from like 63 minutes up to 87 minutes. But in here, so all the ones in black and white are the Phantom from 10,000 Leagues is from 1956. Attack of the Giant Leeches uh, from 1959. The Giant Gila Monster. I'm not sure if that's how you want to pronounce it. G-I-L-A, Gila, Gila. Uh, from 1959. The Killer Shrews, 1959. Teenagers from Outer Space, 1959. That one sounds so, so familiar. I feel like I've possibly seen that one. Um, and possibly Attack of the Giant Leeches. Um, you also have Wasp Woman from 1960, and then The Brain That Wouldn't Die from 1962. Uh, <laughs> then the three in color, I have no idea how you want to pronounce that. Ega, it's like E-E-G-A-H. <laughs> it's a weird title. Uh, 1962, and then you have Night Fright from 1968, and then the last one is Invasion of the Bee Girls, 1973. I just thought this was a really cool, really interesting set here. So yeah, I wanted to go ahead and pick it up and check out some of the titles here. You know, you got some more like, you know, black and white horror and stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm excited to, you know, check out some of those films there. Uh, then we have one that I actually recently saw on an Instagram post, you guys. And I don't know why, it just really like kind of caught my interest. And um, it's this horror movie called Boar. I have no oh. idea. A killer boar. We shall see. <laughs> then we have this four feature film. Um, two of these I actually already own, but this will make a good space saver. So we have definitely, maybe, Love Actually, which are the two that I already own. I have Notting Hill and Because I Said So. I have not seen either of these two. Um, I actually still need to watch Love Actually. A friend, she sent to me the movie and I still haven't watched it, which I definitely need to get on that. But definitely, maybe, I love that movie. It's, it's so cute, you guys. Um, but I was happy to come across that one. Next up, we have this four movie marathon dark comedy collection. And I don't think, well, I think maybe I've seen Nurse Betty. And that's about it. But we have Serial Mom, Nurse Betty, Very Bad Things, and Your Friends and Neighbors. 
I love, love, love these little like, you know, multi-movie packs because it's just a space saver and it's just cool to that you can find these for like relatively cheap and like have a bunch of movies and stuff. So yeah. And then the last item that I got you guys, <laughs> and this is another one I thought was pretty cool. This is the Studio Classics Collection 70s and you get uh, two, nine, is it nine movies? Nine movies in here, all from the 70s and it looks like this. And so the ones that you get in here, which I'll go off the back, is Shampoo, which is from 1968. I have not seen that one. Um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I think I've seen that one. It sounds very familiar. Um, that one does not say what year it's from. Nope. Um, then you have Kramer versus Kramer. Um, and it says winner of the 1979 Oscar for Best Picture. I believe that one's a true story. Um, then you have, uh, this is The Last Picture Show. Um, and it looks like it won the Oscars in 1971. Um, then you have Midnight Express, which is a true story of an American college student's nightmarish experience in a Turkish prison. That sounds familiar too. I'm not sure when that one is from, but got that one. And then you also have Murder by Death. Um, then we have the Buddy Holly story. So that one I'm kind of excited to check out because no Buddy Holly, why not? Then you have Taxi Driver, which actually I own Taxi Driver, I think on Blu-ray. Um, but you know, it's part of the set, so why not? And then the last one in here is The Way We Were. And this has Barbara Streisand in it and Robert Redford. So I'm excited to check all of these out. But I do want to open this up and see what it looks like kind of inside. All right, you guys. So I guess the only downside to this little set here is the way that it's packaged. I am not a fan at all, you guys. So it, it has this here. It's like this kind of like plastic like really thin plastic thing and you can see it's like the disc piled on top of each other so they don't have like their individual spaces or cases or anything like that so I'm kind of bummed about that let's see so you can see they just come stacked on top of each other in this like flimsy like little plastic case here so yeah you guys but Anywho, let me just go ahead and show you guys. So there's Buddy Holly. Um, we have the Kramer versus, ooh, try not to blind you there. Kramer versus Kramer. Um, the way we were. Um, shampoo. <laughs> My son thinks shampoo is funny. Um, Midnight Express. I mean, it's a cool set. I just, I wish it was packaged differently. I wish they had like their own like little individual cases or something like that. Uh, Murder by Death. Even if it was like the tiny, like thin cases, it would have been so much better. But unfortunately it's not. The last picture show. Let's see. Then we have, what is this one? Uh, Disc one feature film. Oh, this is Taxi Driver. And last but not least, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. So yeah, you guys, that is everything that I picked up this round from Hamilton Book. I'm sure there will be more next month. <laughs> but definitely check out their site, you guys. Like I said, they have lots of different deals. If you're into the whole physical media, it's not just movies. They have CDs, they have books, all that good stuff. Blu-rays, DVDs, you name it, they have it. So yeah, definitely check out their deals that they have. And like I said, they have some really interesting titles and stuff. I mean, I'm sure that there's plenty of other movies on there that are super awesome titles that I wouldn't know about. But like I said, I got things that, you know, interest me and stuff and things that I, you know, I'm kind of into watching. And even some things that I might not be into watching, but you know, gonna give a try. So yeah, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Join the family if you have not, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.